Welcome back everybody, this is Joe from HomestudioCorner.com and this is a video in response to yesterday's uh, blog post which was another round of ear training. So if you're watching this on YouTube and you did not see that post yesterday, let me get you to go ahead and pause this video and head over to the blog. I've linked that blog post in the, uh, the notes section of this video. So pause this, go over there and listen to the clips that I posted and uh, put your guesses in there. And then come back and watch the video because I'm about to reveal uh, what it is that I did. So there's three clips of acoustic guitar. The first is unprocessed, the second is with some processing, and the third is with uh, some additional processing. So pause that, go check that out, and then come back and watch the video. Okay, welcome back. Um, so this is the clip, uh, the original clip. And I would encourage you if um, to get the best um, audio quality out of this. I know YouTube isn't the best way to share audio which is why I wanted you to listen to the clips on the blog post. But um, to at least get the best video out of this, or the best audio out of this video, come down in the corner, somewhere down below the mouse here, and uh, click on that HD button. And if you watch this in HD, the sound quality is a little bit better. Okay, so here's the original clip. Okay, I had to mic that fairly close um, to avoid a lot of room noise picked up by the microphone. So it's it's fairly bassy. So um, for those of you that guessed on the first question, um, EQ, you are correct. But what kind of EQ? Let me show you what I did here. I used the SSL EQ. And a couple of things. I rolled off the bottom end below 120. Oh, it looks like 124. And uh, I also cut... So use the low frequency cut to cut around, what is that, 177. And then I also did a big cut at 240. So that's 0.24 kilohertz or 240 hertz. So there was a lot of buildup there. Um, as you can see, I cut it by 10 dB and um, not a super narrow, but also not a super wide cut. Uh, for those of you that guessed that I boosted the high frequencies, absolutely did not. Um, just by cutting these lows, the highs came out. So Let's just hit play here and I'll just bypass this on and off so you can hear the difference. So now it sounds fairly, fairly natural. Let me show you what I was talking about with this boost here, or this cut at the, in the low mids. If we hit play and I boost this, now it's cut by 10 dB. If I boost it, just to give you an idea of what that frequency sounds like, this is it. So that's the... Hey look. Okay, that's the... Um, that's that kind of just that muddy lowness. And, and what you'll find is listening to it with it still processed and with all that low end cut out, it still has some bottom end to it. Um, it still has a little bit of bass, uh, especially when it goes to like that, um, that A minor chord. Um, you, can still, you can still feel it. Now, if this was an acoustic song where it was just acoustic guitar, I may introduce a little bit more low end back into it. But this song is a part of a fuller mix with drums and bass, and so I don't I don't want any more muddiness down there because it would um, interfere with what the bass is doing. So that's a uh, and that's a pretty good sound even if it was just an acoustic vocal track. But I may put a little more low end back in there, just depending on the situation. Okay, the second sample was a lot more subtle, and uh, some of you guessed reverb, some of you guessed chorus. Uh, and those are really interesting guesses because what I did was actually add compression. And um, I used the Renaissance compressor and had a fairly fairly low threshold, but also a, a, a low ratio of 1.58 to 1. And uh, as I hit play, you'll notice, I'll turn the audio down for a second, you'll notice that it's knocking off quite a bit. I mean, we're going anywhere between 3 and 6 dB of gain reduction, probably more like three to five and uh, normally I don't like a lot of compression on acoustic guitar I think it makes it sound thin but you'll notice this doesn't add a whole lot but it just brings some of the sustain of those notes 
especially the bass notes, up a little bit. So let me just uh, turn that back up and we can listen to it here. So it did a lot of things. The, the, I had a fairly long attack, so the the attack of the of the strumming was still intact there. Um, fairly short release. So, um, but it was just what you hear is the sustain of the of the chords gets brought up a little bit. So it's got a little more sustain, um, and it's just a little bit tighter. And what you also notice is it did bring up a little bit of the room. Um, I recorded this just in my home studio, so it's not the best room ever. So there's some reflections going around the room, and it actually brought those sounds up, which adds an interesting kind of depth to it. Um, so let's listen to it again. I'll keep bypassing it and turning it back on and let you hear the, the effect. So it didn't necessarily make it louder, it just changed the tone of it, which is pretty cool. And if, if you're having a hard time hearing the differences there, go back to that blog post, and uh, those are high res 320, I believe, um, 320K MP3 files. So you should be able to hear the differences there a little bit better uh, rather than just on YouTube here. So that's it. A lot of you uh, made some really good guesses. Um, a lot of you thought that I added a lot of high end with EQ, when in reality I just cut the, uh, the low end out. And a lot of you thought I was doing some sort of a room, either chorus or reverb or things like that, when it was actually just compression. So this is a fun activity. Um, and to, to be able to listen to uh, the audio and hear the end result without knowing how it was achieved and to go backwards from there. Because a lot of times we get caught up with, ooh, shiny plugin, I'm going to do this to this track, even though I don't know if it actually needs it or not. So, um, yeah, I hope that was helpful for you. And we'll, I'll definitely do more of these. These are actually really fun to do. So um, stay tuned. So for those of you that stuck around to the very end of this video, I have a thank you for you. Um, this is actually the acoustic part that I did for this ear training is actually the chorus of one of my songs that I'm working on for my upcoming album. So um, as kind of the outro music, I'll, I'll just uh, let this play so you can hear kind of what I've got cooking here. Uh, again, this is Joe from HomestudioCorner.com. Thanks for watching. Compass is broken, magic eight ball lets you down. You turn to your knees and pray. Pray to the ceiling and the walls that are crushing you down. And hope that someone will hold them up another day. See